Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So, today I'm going to do facts about sex. Um, if you haven't seen, I did a video of um, facts about animals. And, um, I don't know, it, I think it's pretty fucking cool. Um, but I hope you do like it. Um, and yeah, alright, so here we go. Alright, the first fact is most condoms are bought in July and August. So I guess a lot of people have sex in July or August. <laughs> Sorry, it's fucking irritating me. Alright. 52% of people... Oh. Well, people, females, males. Anyways, 52% of women fake orgasms. <laughs> That's more than half. Or a little more than half. Damn. Alright. And, uh, anyways, another fact is sexual ac active people tend to suffer less heart attacks possibly owning to their better fitness. So, the more people that have sex is less li less likely to have heart attacks or competitive heart attacks than the average person who don't have sex that much. Another one. Men who have been circumcised take a little longer to orgasm than those who haven't. That's fucking weird. <coughs> I did not know that. That's really fucking weird. <laughs> but, I mean, a lot of people get their kids circumcised. <laughs> Anyways. Women who work part-time have more orgasms than full-time employees do. What? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's fucking weird. Sorry. Fucking hair. Anyways, that's... Really? Yeah, when I read that, I was like, all right. Are you going to come say hi? Are you going to come say hi? Say hi, everybody. Hi. All right, go away. All right. <clears throat> this one, the next one that I'm about to say is really fucking weird. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's weirder than the part-time full-time employees. Anyways, the cum actually adds vitamins to your body while swallowed and guess what? It is said to whiten your teeth. So I guess cum whitens your teeth, guys. <laughs> if swallowed. <laughs> and it actually puts vitamins in your body. So, sorry guys. The people who <laughs> give head... <laughs> Well, this is for straight couple people who give head to a guy. You get a lot of vitamins. People who suck like lesbians that suck other people's vaginas, other girls' vaginas, you're getting vitamins in your body. Unless it's just for sperm. But it says cum. It doesn't say man sperm or woman sperm. It just says cum. <clears throat> and I didn't mean woman's cum or sperm. I don't know if I said that. But if I did, I meant cum. But anyways, only one in six men, men give their girlfriend or wife's underwear. One out of six. Wow. Men, man, whatever. Guys, get your girlfriend's or wife's girl or. Oh my God. Get your girlfriend, girlfriend or wife's wife underwear. Like, what the fuck is wrong with underwear? He's really gonna fucking bug me. Sorry guys, I'll try to block it out. There we go. Bam! So I'll just scoot over this way. No. Anyway. Be a decent guy. Fucking go buy him tampons. Go fucking buy him underwear. Be a gentleman. Be nice. Alright. 20 million Americans watch porn. I can believe that. <laughs> Alright. Women who masturbate regularly 
are more likely to experience orgasm during intercourse. So, for you women out there, I guess pleasure yourself <laughs> to experience an orgasm during intercourse when you have sex with your partner. Yeah. I guess, like, in a way, that's true. I mean, I don't really pleasure myself because I can't hit the spots. I mean, like, I can, but it's just, it's not as fun, I guess, and pleasuring. But I guess if it helps you fucking have an orgasm during intercourse, then why not, right? All right. Women who eat chocolate on a daily basis report higher sex drives. I don't know if this one's true because my fucking grandma <laughs> eats chocolate. At least once a fucking day or once every other day or she eats it fucking a lot. And she don't have a high sex drive. But then again, you know, she could. It's just, I mean, we don't live in the main house anymore. We live in the barn. But... I just, I don't see that with her. It might be with other people, but I just don't see it with her. Anyways, humans, monkeys, dolphins are the only species that have sex for pleasure. That is actually a cool fact to know. I did not know that dolphins have sex for pleasure. I knew humans somewhat did, but I didn't know what monkeys and dolphins did. So that's a really cool fact. What, babies? What? You need to say hi? Huh? Did they say hi? No? Okay. Alright. Another fact is sex burns 360 calories per hour. Per hour, guys. <clears throat> so, get it on. I'm going to have to fucking tell Shandy that fact. Hmm. Might help us. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> Alright. Another fact is some experts believe that sexual addiction is actually a form of OCD. Obsess, if you don't know what that is, it's a, a obsessive compulsive disorder and refers to as sexual compulsivity. Really? <laughs> That's weird because I'm like highly addicted to sex. I'm like I want it all the time and I don't have OCD. At least that I know of. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look more into that. Um, another one is 60% of lesbian women enjoy sex every time. Women who sleep with men only enjoy it 33% of the time. <laughs> That's because girls know what other girls want. I mean, duh, men... Not to be offensive, they just don't. They only care about getting themselves off. And what helps them. They don't really... I mean, there are some guys that you know do... You know, put the person that he's sleeping with first. And, like, what her needs are and stuff. But, I don't know, just... Why do you think I'm a lesbian, guys? I don't like men. I never liked sex with men. Um, And I just... I feel the connection there with women, and they just know the spot. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at the ones that I have slept with did not know, and I never orgasmed or came once with sleeping with a guy, but I have came more times with a girl. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Woman, you should become lesbian. <laughs> Apparently, you'll enjoy sex more. <laughs> so, I believe that. But that's just because I don't like men sexually. So, all right, bald men have stronger sex drive. Drives. Hmm. No babies. No. No. So, all you bald people out there, do you guys have higher sex drives? Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you, girl. And when I when I read that one, I was like. Hmm. The people that I know that have bald heads don't seem that they have high sex drives. But, I mean, they could be hiding it very well. So, in a way, who knows, right? 
Alright, another one. Six. <coughs> Whoa. What the fuck? Alright. Sorry, I'm still overcoming this fucking sickness. This cough will not fucking go away. And it's really irritating the fuck out of me. Alright, another one. Another fact about sex. And 67% of women don't want a partner who has already had lots of partners. And that is true. Um, I mean, why would you want someone that had sex with so many people? Because then, how would you know that you can, like, the person that you're with is going to like sex with you? And they're not going to be thinking about, you know, their previous partner because they were better or they did different things that you're not. Or, like, I just see there being too many problems with that one. So, I do agree with that one. It needs to be a higher number, like, 80%. But 67% is still pretty good. Um, these are just my opinions after, like, I read them and stuff. So, don't get offensive. It's just how I feel and what I think. So, alright, 36% of people under 35 go on Facebook, Twitter, or send texts after sex. <laughs> um... This one I don't know because I don't get on Facebook for one I don't have Facebook or Twitter um, but after sex I usually me and Shandy go outside and smoke a cigarette we either smoke a cigarette before like right before we have sex and then right after it just I don't know like it spice seems spice things up I think at least so I don't know anyways <laughs> larger groups viewing online porn is ages 12 through 17 12 what the fuck <laughs> I mean I was 14 when I no I was about 13 yeah 13 when I first started watching porn so I don't know it's just weird that's fucking crazy, though. I cannot believe I was that young. Wow. Alrighty. Alright, and this one. It's, I did not know this one. Anyways. Approximately five women worldwide report being sexually abused before the age of 15. I mean, in, like, I see that. Like, I really do. Just because there's, like, family members or, you know, a sibling's friend or another sibling. And so, like, I was like, wow. Five women worldwide. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I was going to say about... I'm losing my fucking train of thought. I just... Never mind. Anyways. Moving on. A father has... A, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, guys. Why can I ever fucking make a video that's not... That I fuck it up. Or say something wrong. Or... Ugh, god. And irritates me. Whatever. Whatever. Alrighty. A father and his son, adult son, are most often identification. They pretty much um prepare or prepare. Oh my god. They compare penis sizes. Of who's bigger, who's not. So, Dad, have you ever fucking compared your penis with your two sons? Three, four sons? <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, it's so, like, right on because, well, I mean, I see it more with, like, friends, like, comparing, like, you know, their penis size, not a father and son. 
I don't know. <laughs> when I read that one, I fucking laughed so fucking hard. Oh, I almost called up my dad and was like, yo. <laughs> just kidding. I really do not want to fucking know <laughs> if he does or not. That would just be too fucking weird. <laughs> All right. Australian women have sex on the first date more than women the same age in the USA. Well, I guess Australian women get it on. <laughs> they don't fucking take no time. They're fucking bam. <laughs> oh, that's fucking crazy. All right, the average female orgasms orgasm lasts 25 seconds. 25 seconds, guys. Average female orgasm. Wow. I've had mine last for about mm, 30 to 35 seconds. Um. So, I mean, that's pretty right on to the average female orgasm. So, yeah. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And one day I will learn to fucking talk and... I don't know, just learn how to fucking talk. <laughs> but, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, comment, share my videos with friends, family. Um, and I really hope that, you know, my videos really do help people. Make them smile, make them laugh. Make them, you know, not be afraid of who they are. And... Like, if there's any videos that, you know, you recommend me to do, um, comment down below and, um, you know, let me know what kind of videos or video you want me to make that will help, you know, you or, you know, if you're struggling with something and you want me to make a video to kind of help you of my opinions or my thoughts on things or subject or whatever, you know, comment down below, let me know, and... We will go from there. Anyways, I do love you guys. Um, you guys mean the fucking world to me. And my biggest goal is to make you guys happy. Laugh. Smile. Make a difference in the world. Love one another. And not be afraid of who you are. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. And yeah. Have a good day, night, morning. Whatever it is in your time right now that you're watching this. And I will talk to you later.